Ladies and gentlemen, can we have your attention please? Everybody get a seat. Or if you want to stand in the shade, be smart and stand in the shade. That's probably a good idea too. But we'd like to assemble if we could and get our proceedings underway. Uh, my name is Charles Price and Ms. Robinson, our 6th District Council Person and Vice uh, Chair of the City or Vice President of the City Council said that I should be the MC today, so I'm following her orders very carefully. We want to welcome everybody here. We've got a lot of, a lot of guests, a lot of citizens, some out-of-town folks, and, and, and excellent representatives of the biking community. Um, call your attention to a display here that just fell over. <laughs> this shows the, this shows the uh, phase one, which is the completed section of the, of the Cannon Creek Greenway Trail, which runs from here at Dove Street down to Valley Road. That's about four tenths of a mile rounded up. And then we have uh, the second phase will be built from this intersection right over here, this corner right over here, about six tenths of a mile north to East Brooklyn Park Boulevard. That will complete the uh, off-road, that will complete the off-road section of the uh, Cannon Creek Greenway Trail. Uh, the trail itself will be connected to various other trails in the city via on-street bike lanes and sharrows. And, and be part of a greater system, uh, which is part of our mayor's initiative to have a bicycle and pedestrian trails and a bicycle friendly community for health and wellness purposes, to get traffic off the streets, to reduce carbon, uh, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by people riding bicycles rather than, rather than pedaling cars. And we think it's a great effort and it's a win-win situation for our community and everybody in it. So we welcome all of you. And Mr. Miller, what am I supposed to do here? Is that it? Okay. Um, it gives me a, a great deal of pleasure to introduce to you our Vice President of our City Council and 6th District Council member, Ms. Ellen Robinson. Ms. Robinson. Thank you, Dr. Price. I am grateful for this opportunity to be here today, but let me just get the record straight a little bit. Um, I am the council representative for this district. I am the vice president of Richmond City Council. But as it relates to this trail, Dr. Price is the boss and I follow his orders. And I bet you there's enough people in this audience that will say the same thing. Who's in charge? Mr. Price. <laughs> and we certainly want to thank him. Um, I want each one of you to realize today that you are making history. The time will come where you will read, probably in history books, about this wonderful redevelopment of this community. We are planning to build over 300 homes on this site that is right behind us. We are also planning to do the renovation of the Armory building. We are hopeful that we will also be breaking grounds for a new elementary school right here on this site. But let me say to you, the master developer that has been chosen through the Richmond Redevelopment Housing Authority to carry out this development, ambition and stronger commitments were made when they saw the beauty and the quality of this trail. And I just want to let you know that this trail has stepped up the vision for what we see for this community. And this is a really fabulous history-making opportunity. So you being here today, make sure you sign your name on the program or something because you want your name to be included in the history book that you were here when the ribbon cutting ceremony took place. I am also grateful for the many supporters that have been involved in this process that have worked with us diligently and Mr. Price is going to give you a lot more detail as it relates to that but let me just take the opportunity right now to introduce you to many of those persons that are seated behind me that have worked very closely with us in this effort and put in extra time overtime and also found resources that we thought were not possible to find. First of all, the president of the council, Kathy Graciana, is not here. I understand that she is on her way and that she will be arriving very shortly. 
in partnership with this effort, it was not just the 6th District, it's also the 3rd District. This uh, Richmond Henriker Turnpike borders the boundaries of the 6th District and the 3rd District, and I'm honored to have my great friend and co-worker, co-council member, Chris Hilbert, also to join us today. Thanks, Chris. We'll, we'll hear some remarks from Chris in just a moment. As well as uh, Dr. Norman Murfield, who is our Director of Park Recreation and Community Facilities. He and his staff, Dr. Murfield, would you raise your hand, uh, has been very, very supportive of us in this effort to make sure that we bring all of the resources, coordinate all of the resources to make this happen. And then James Jackson, who is the Director of Public Works, You all know what this place has looked like. You know the trash, you know the weeds, you know the, all of those kinds of things. Okay, so Public Works has spent hours and hours making sure that we work to keep this place well maintained and uh, get rid of the dumping. And we're working closely with the police to help us with that effort as well. So we want to thank Mr. Jackson for his dedication. And then, uh, none of this would have been possible but without the Virginia Army National Guard. Uh, it is really the dedication, the commitment that the National Guard made to this effort from the very beginning by providing services from their soldiers to be here, to do the groundwork to make this happen, that made it impossible for us as elected officials to not any up the additional funds that were necessary to make this happen. So I really want to thank Captain Mac, Mac Swanson, uh, who is the commander of the 1033 Engineer Support Company of 276 Engineer Battalion, Virginia Army National Guard, as well as First Lieutenant Jamie Timberlake, who is also here with his son, uh, today. So we want to thank the National Guard for their contribution as well. And of course we want to again thank Charles Price who is the volunteer coordinator for the Greenway Parkway and also the honorary member uh, resident of the 6th District uh, which he has uh, with that we so gracefully welcome him to be a part of this district. Uh, and with that, I would like, I see uh, Ms. Graciana is just pulling up. I would like to ask the Honorable Mayor Dwight C. Jones to come forward and share with us um, his administration's support, dedication, and commitment to trails, not only this trail, but trails throughout the city of Richmond, as well as bicycling and the importance of what that does for our environment and for other alternative means of transportation. Uh, Mayor Jones has been a pleasure to work with. Uh, he not only is dedicated and commitment to this, he ensures that the resources are provided and makes sure that his staff has been available to help us to make this happen. So with that, let's welcome our mayor, the mayor Dwight C. Jones for the city of Richmond. Well, thank you, Ellen, and uh, it's a delight to see all of you this afternoon, this morning, I think it still is. And uh, this is a wonderful, wonderful occasion, an opportunity for us to celebrate. I have to tell you that when I look out in the audience and don't see the television cameras from our local television stations and the newspaper here for such a positive event, it causes me some pause because so many good things are happening in our city, and we really should celebrate our successes as well as acknowledge sometimes uh, the things that happen that are not so good. This is a story that should be shown everywhere. I have a, a, a temptation to think in theological terms, and when I see a project like this, I think of resurrection. I think of things that were dead that have now become alive. I think of things that were old that are now new. And I think of creativity and innovation and people coming together with hard work to make this dream become a reality. You know, I used to live on Richmond Henrico Turnpike when I was in college. I had a, a little apartment over there. And uh, I remember that I would come this way during the daytime, 
but at nighttime I would not come this way. Uh, and we are quickly changing the context of this entire community, of this entire neighborhood, and those who are here today know that the best is yet to come, that we are building a great tier one city, but a tier one city is made up of great neighborhoods, a tier one city is made up of great green spaces. When I think of great cities like New York and Central Park, Philadelphia Fairmount Park, uh, I want also, when people think of Richmond, to think of our green spaces and open spaces. What a wonderful day it will be when people will be able to get on their bikes and instead of getting on the bus or getting in their car, cycle downtown to go to work or cycle downtown to have fun. Uh, we are working very hard to provide those kinds of, of uh, opportunities by connecting to the Capitol Trail, the United States Route 1 bike lane. We're looking forward to the time when Richmond will be the biking capital of the East Coast and people will think of us when they think of cycling. And it's my hope that all of this will uh, be complete by the time we welcome the 2015 World Cycling Championships when the entire world will have its eyes on the city of Richmond, when we will be on international television, not just in the United States, but all over the world, and we're expecting 400 visitors. And so we got to get things ready so that they'll know that we're not only talking the talk, but we're also walking the walk. So we're delighted to be here today and delighted to have worked with uh, Council Ms. Woman Robertson on this, uh, this project. I, too, want to express my appreciation to Dr. Price. Uh, he's somewhat of an attack dog uh, when it comes to getting something done, but that's what it takes. It takes uh, activists and it takes people who will push the envelope and make you know that you cannot live behind the veil, that you've got to answer. And so we thank him for the hard work that he's done along with the National Guard, the volunteers, DPW and Parks and Rec. Thank you so much for all that you have done. And we look forward to seeing the uh, connection uh, to Brooklyn Park Boulevard and the connection to downtown and uh, many, many more days to come out and cut ribbons because, as I said before, the best is yet to come. Thank you so much. I only have a couple other things to say in there. Woof, 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 woof. woof. <laughs> It's, um, it's a special privilege for me now to introduce a number of guests who are in the audience today that have had a tremendous part in making this, uh, this reality come true for our uh, beautiful off-road trail, phase one, and, and will be integrally involved in phase two, I'm quite sure. And I want to quickly go down a list of names and tell you some of their responsibilities and how they have made this all possible. And I'll do this quickly because it's starting to get hot. Uh, Manusha Nostrati, project engineer from the Department of uh, Public Works. Manusha, stand up. You all stand up when I call your name. Larry Miller, operations manager, Department of Parks, Recreation, and Community Facilities. Stand up. Mary Lois Mitchum, parks director, if she's here. Uh, John Maddox, who's senior vice president of Whitman Reichardt Associates, engineers and planners. Mark Vasco, senior engineer, Whitman Reichardt and Associates. John Smith, vice president of Land Planning and Design Associates, our landscape architects in this effort. Are they here? Okay, give them applause anyway. Robert King, Vice President of J.D. Ludwig Incorporated Contractors, who did this beautiful job on the finished surface of this trail. Uh, Jacob Helmbo, Pedestrian Bicycle and Trails Coordinator for the City of Richmond. Is Jacob here? Give him a hand of applause. He's had a... Raymond Turner, President of the Highland View Civic Association. Where's Raymond? Raymond's over there giving out a ticket. Joyce Knight, Vice President of the Green Park Civic Association. These folks have been behind us 100% involved in every planning charrette and every bit of input into how this trail should look. Bud Vi uh, of the Richmond Bicycling Association and a host of his people with him. Bud, thank you for coming down today. Champ Burnley, who's President of the Virginia Bicycling Federation and a major force in this whole biking situation in the 2015 work. The people that stand behind me in the environmental work and the environmental phase and make sure that I'm doing my job, and I'd like to quickly call their names off, are part of the, the, uh, the Virginia Chapter Executive Committee. John Crookshank, Chair. Ivy Main, Vice Chair. You all stand up, be recognized. 
Steve Bruckner, they're already standing this day. Tim Stevens, uh, Glenn Basa, our director. Glenn, hold your hand up there. These are all part of the part of the state chapter of the of the uh, Sierra Club. I'd like to introduce two other people who are two local leaders, and they do a tremendous amount about recycling and the conservation efforts. Tremendous behind the scenes work in conservation efforts here in the city. Scott Berger, co-chair of the Falls of James Group, and Adele McLean, his other co-chair. You all stand up. Great amount of work. I'd like to, to, to mention Jan Hatcher, the executive director of the Partnership for Smarter Growth. This is a powerhouse organization, and she's the head of it. Is Jamie Ehrenberg here today from Groundwork RVA? She's another important person that helps us out. I'd like to introduce also to you Lieutenant Colonel Dabney and Lieutenant Allen of the, of the uh, Richmond Sheriff's Department. These folks have a standing work crew that I can call on, available at our disposal to work on weekends. They're community service workers. They're working off their community service hours and they do save us a tremendous amount of money and help them keep this greenway and this uh, Richmond and Ryko Turnpike clean. These do a wonderful job. I'd also like to introduce Deputy Davis of the Sheriff's Department. He's the guy with the, uh, with the crew that comes out here every, every Saturday and Sunday to help out. I'd like to introduce also Craig Watson, who is the Church Administrator of Fifth Street Baptist Church. Where is, where is Mr. Watson? Right over here. Thank you, Craig, in, in the Fifth Street Baptist Church congregation. We have a, a new entrepreneur who's building along the Richmond uh, in Ryko Turnpike down near uh, Valley Road, and that's Scott Andrews of Chestnut Hill Organic Garden. Scott, stand up. He's going to have a beautiful place down there, organic gardening for us. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. Let me get to the next phase of this thing. Is, is uh, Ms. Graziano here yet? Yes, she is. Ms. Graziano, well, we'd like for you to come forward and give greetings here. And then I'll have Mr. Hilbert come up. Just say. <laughs> uh, good, morning. good morning. What a great day. Richmond has the best parks, the best trails in this region. And people like Champ and Charles Price have gone a long way to make that happen. And I just want to thank everybody that was involved in this. Thanks. And now there's a person I'd like to introduce that is what I call powerhouse on city council because he makes things happen and he's an, he's an eloquent member of city council. He is completely supportive of this Greenway and it, it, it joins his, his district over here and, it's, and uh, they're going to be part of it. His uh, Barton Heights Civic Association and his Barton Heights community are all part of this too. And I'd like to introduce to you Councilman Chris Hilbert of the 3rd Council District. Mr. Hilbert. Thank you, Charles. I'll, uh, I'll try and be brief if for no other reason here. My sunscreen, I don't know how long that's going to hold up while I'm uh, exposed up here. But uh, thank you all for coming out. Uh, I want to say a special thank you to a friend of mine from McLean, uh, Ivy Maine. Thank you for coming down, Northern Virginia. Here we are on the ground. Uh, but, you know, this, uh, this whole project uh, seems to uh, reflect in my mind uh, what Margaret Mead said uh, a few years ago, and I'm paraphrasing here, if I don't get this quote right, forgive me uh, exactly, but it is, never doubt what a group of small, a small group of committed people can do to change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. And I believe that this is right here today, what has happened. A group of people who were determined to make a blighted, trash dump essentially into a wonderful asset for our city. Thank you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of all of my constituents and I want to thank in particular uh, my colleague uh, Ellen Robertson who uh, who was another attack dog on this. I tell you I heard about this early and often you can tell me. Hilbert you're still with me on this aren't you? Yes we're going forward we're moving ahead. Yes we are and I hope that uh, I hope to say that uh, Ms. Robertson, I'll be asking you for a few favors in the future, I'm sure. So uh, with that, God bless you all. God bless our city. And let's have some fun.
thank you so much. This is a great day. I uh, hope the sun is not too hot on you guys. So we're going to move forward and uh, certainly um, I'm sure that Mr. Price will help us in the process of as we uh, get on our bikes. I have um, my headgear and my bike is right over there and I would like to ask if the mayor President Graciana, Councilperson Hilbert, Dr. Murfield, James Jackson, Captain Swanson, uh, First Lieutenant Timberlake, and Mr. Price, if you would join us for the ribbon cutting ceremony. It's indeed a great deal of pleasure for me to introduce our host city department here, uh, Dr. Norman Merrifield, Director of Parks, Recreation, and Community Facilities. A few remarks from Mr. Dr. Merrifield. Dr. Merrifield, please come forward. Thank you, Dr. Price. Thank you. Well, this is an exciting day for the Department of Parks and Recreation, and we are very pleased to be able to share uh, this experience with each and every one of you today. This, this trail does so many great things for so many people and for in so many different ways. Not only does it make a substantial improvement to the community for now and the future, but it also provides benefits which are endless. Benefits that go on and on and as we like to say in the park and recreation business, some of those business, some of those benefits, just a few, are lifelong health and wellness through our exercise, opportunities for social interaction. One factor that seldom do we think about when we talk about parks and recreation, and that is the economic value that it provides a community. You know, our research tells us that trails such as this adds anywhere from 1% to 20% appreciation to property values. We know that, but oftentimes it's not well recognized or known, but it is a fact. It also provides our young people and all of our citizens a greater appreciation for the great outdoors. Many people, as you have heard, have helped to bring this uh, greenway to reality. And we would like to thank, obviously, Mayor Jones, who is, has given an incredible amount of leadership and support for this project and all of our park and recreation projects. Vice President Robinson, who obviously has had a, a hand in the anatomy of pit bullism. <laughs> along with Dr. Price, of course. <laughs> President Graziano, thank you so much. And other departments, Public Works, who have made a significant contribution here. The National Guard Armory, excellent service. It's um, amazing what both Public Works and the uh, National Guard Armory did to, to move a lot of dirt that a lot of us are standing on now. And I want to thank the uh, Park and Recreation staff. I don't want to thank, uh, don't want to forget uh, Council Member Hilbert. He's got a little pit bull in him too. <laughs> Ryan Park, others too. But he's a good man and has helped us incredibly uh, over the over at least my uh, almost a year now here in in, in Richmond. Um, I do want to thank the Park and Recreation staff as well. Uh, Mr. Larry Miller, who is, his, has put his hand uh, in this uh, from its very beginning. Uh, I think Mr. Tyree YG is out here, and one of the things that we said uh, last week, we, we didn't want to come out here without having the young people and the bikes. You know, it's like a photographer told me 
years ago when we were taking pictures of parks. Mayor, he said, don't ever take a picture of a park or a resource without people being in it. People are our greatest resource. As fine as this is, it's all about you. It's about the people. So thank you for coming out this morning and supporting this great historic landmark. Enjoy the day and enjoy the, the, the parkway and trail. Thank you. Uh, I would like to introduce several uh, members of the Sierra Club, the Virginia Sierra Club executive staff and director of the Sierra Club who are going to present our platform guests with t-shirts. So Glenn, you and Ivy Main and, and John Crookshank come on board here for the presentation of these t-shirts to our platform guests. And, and Glenn, tell them what's on that t-shirt. Okay. As has been said earlier, this is all about, uh, not just about recreation, it's also about fitness. And so we just want to remind everybody that even with a 40 mile per hour, 40 mile per gallon car, 40 calories per mile beats 40 miles per gallon. Okay? What size would you like to ask? Extra large. Okay, they're on the bottom there. That's extra large is in there. And I might add, if anyone doesn't get a t-shirt now, there, when we have the uh, drawing for the raffle, the Sierra Club will be up here with the t-shirts to distribute then. So we have some more available, but not right, the, right at the moment. While they're uh, passing out the t-shirts, let me talk a little bit about the raffle uh, that will follow the bike ride. And in just a few minutes, we'll take off with this bike ride. But I want to tell you about the raffle. All of you have been issued tickets. If you haven't got one, we have gentlemen right out here who will give you a ticket for our raffle. Um, and I want to tell you a little bit about that. We have had some very generous organizations, businesses, and individuals in the, in the city who have given us some prizes for this. Um, we have REI Sports, AG Bicycles, uh, Pibby's Bicycle and, and, and Skate. Sports backers, the Virginia Police Department, and Councilman Ellen Robinson gave us prizes to raffle off. We'll have the raffling up there by that first table, and bring it. Come with your tickets if you're interested in, in winning a prize. One of the things we have there, we have four four really really uh, fine condition bicycles to to raffle off too, and we hope our young people and and other people who want to learn to ride bikes or who are already riding will get an opportunity to have those. So that that takes care of the instructions on the raffle, and when the when the bike ride and walk down the trail to Valley Road and back is finished, please come on up there for the raffle. And I understand, uh, Bud, I think you and your crew and, and, uh, and perhaps Champ are going on to the bottom and won't be coming back. Is that correct? We can come back. We can make it up that hill. Good. If you can make it up the hill, you come on back. Uh, the ride and the walk will be four-tenths of a mile down and four-tenths of a mile back. So it's a little over a mile down and back. And you don't have to walk the whole way. There's some beautiful park benches along the way you can stop. And if anybody really gets exhausted, just call me on my cell phone. You'll, you'll know my, my signal by, there's a wolf in there that, that will tell you it's my cell phone. And I'll come down there with, with my sag wagon up here. This little white pickup truck can pick you up if, it, if anybody needs any help. But be that as it may, if we will now, um, I would like to suggest to you that everybody who's going on the bike ride Get your bicycles and, and assemble. Come right down through these cones here and right up the trail. And Bud, if you all will lead the way and, and, and take these folks down to Valley Avenue and have them return. Uh, that would be great. And anybody who wants to walk the trail for whatever distance you want to walk, go enjoy its scenic beauty. <laughs> 